have a small script. list. No, I have a small list of questions. It's three questions. <laughs> <laughs> I had a list of questions and I left them at home. So now it's down to um, your favorite Bowie song. Ooh. Hmm. I'm going to give you my top three. Okay, yeah, because I definitely can't pick either. Maybe so. Maybe top five. Okay. Golden Years. Excellent. Uh, five Years. Mm, also good. Years. Yeah. And um, Spaceman. No, Starman. Space Odyssey, mm. and did I say top three or top five? Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, since one of my students is going to be presenting on this, I'm going to say I'm afraid of Americans. Top five. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Cherish has an awesome candle. Yes. Ah. Um, it's not Mother Mary, but Mother Bowie. Mother, Mother Bowie. <laughs> of course, we all need a Mother Bowie. <laughs> Your top five. Top five Bowie songs. Oh no. Right off the top of your okay. head. Okay. Uh, well, Station to Station. Um, Be My Wife. Okay. Uh, Sound and Vision, Ooh. because Ike and I always sing that together. Uh, oof. Well, I've got to say Ziggy Stardust. Yeah. And, sure. uh, I don't know, one more. Ah, there's so many. Have a star magic against the sky. <laughs> Oh, Suffragette City. That's the oh, first yeah. song. That's my first song that I ever loved, so it's gotta be that. Yeah. That's a good so, one. They're yeah. all good. Yeah. yeah. Well, there are no bad Bowie songs. That just, they don't exist, so. Well. Do you have, you think there are some? I won't hold it against you. <laughs> my friend said that Changes was, like, one oh. that she could go without. Okay. Um, it's not one of my, like, absolute favorites. I forgot about Let's Dance. Oh! Let's dance. I used to have a dance, like a choreographed dance. I don't remember it anymore. But <laughs> it was very good. Um, sure. It was terrible. Amazing music video, mm -hmm. and my husband can karaoke it spot on. <laughs> <laughs> also, let's talk about Iman, his wife, and Aww. how we're all we're all jealous of her. Yes. We love her, but we hate her. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. There's a page from some magazine that I have that's like, it's all like stupid questions that they asked her, and it's like pictures of stuff that she has, and it's, so I've kept it, and it's just like, do you wear a Bowie t-shirt? And she's like, no, because I'm already in bed with him, and I'm like, ah! Cheers, cheers to, that. to that! I'm gonna, Yuck. let's, uh, damn you, Iman. <laughs> and your Walmart makeup line. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. no. Manage to marry a god amongst men. Mm -hmm. Next issue. Okay, the next question, like the only cool one that I still remember from the list that I had, <laughs> yeah. was if you had to have any literature tattooed on yourself, what would it be? And you already have one really cool one, so as far as I know. But your tattoo. So, oh, yeah. That's just from a Pearl Jam song. Yeah. That's literature. It's a text. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think that. <laughs> I don't know if my fr other friends do, oh. um, yeah. but thank you. The Yours. The text. Oh, mine. Okay, well, there's a lot of literature that I would like to get tattooed if I was brave enough, but if I had to pick one, it would be, I don't know if it's actually from the book, but the BBC miniseries of Nostromo, A Man Can Always Do More Than He Thinks He Can. And if I had that, like, as a reminder, like, right here, I think I'd get a lot more done. Ooh, <laughs> like, I like that. Isn't that good? So. I am going to say, because I already have my third tattoo already planned out, it's mm. going to be the last line of Invisible Man Ooh. by Ralph Ellison. With this, cannot tell Can't you think of it. what no. it is. But it'll be a secret. I mean, have you thought about fonts? Cause that's yeah, I could put it, like, down as... Oh, what font it yeah. should be in? Ooh, good question. That's, that's a Bookman huge. old style. Right. right off the bat. That's a huge deal. Yes. My friend helped me find the original font that what? the first Invisible Man was printed and published in. That is awesome. Yes. So uh, that's what I'm getting. That is cool. 
That is so cool. Yeah. yeah I, I'm gonna see if I can do it. That would be sweet. What is any other topics? Oh, I wish I could remember them because they were good. Oh, okay, I'm remembering a few of them. If you could have everyone read any one book, what would it be? Hmm. Hmm. Like, and since we're both teachers, we can force our students to read something. Oh, but, all the time. You know, <laughs> all, all the time. time. <laughs> you love what I love. <laughs> Mandatory. Yeah. It's good, so you need to read yeah. it right now. I'm going to say the, uh, do I have it up here? Do I have it up here? I don't. Okay. The Jhumpa Lahiri novel, Namesake, which was mm. adapted to film, I would make students read that just from a kind of post-colonial literature stance, um, and I would make them read Invisible Man. I haven't read Namesake, but I've been wanting to read Jhumpa Lahiri ever since Shoot. like we kept hearing about it in post-colonial. Read, and read her short stories. Okay. Those are good. Yeah, that's something I've been wanting to delve into. And weirdly, whenever I go to Savers, I see her book <laughs> there. Mm. I'm like, there's a lot of Lahiri readers in Toledo, apparently. There's a lot of <laughs> students selling back their books. Selling book. back books, I see, yes. That's what's happening. They don't get it yet. No. <sighs> yeah, I Any texts that mm. you want to force feed your force students? Feed my students. Well, this will be the fourth semester in a row for short story that I've had my students read Harrison Bergeron, which is a short story by Kurt Vonnegut. It's the only Kurt Vonnegut I've ever read, but I really like it. What is that? Um, it's weird and like post-apocalyptic. It's like eight pages. People, like it's in the future, and the, it's mandated by the government that everyone has to wear limiters so that we're all the same. Like smart people have to have butters in their ears. Strong people have to carry weights. Ugly yeah. or like pretty people have to wear hideous face masks and stuff. It's so cool. I really love it. And my students actually care. Like when they read it, like whoa, it's like the Hunger Games. <laughs> I'm like before the Hunger Games. Okay, everything you know? <laughs> is like the fucking Hunger Games. <laughs> they act like this genre of film has like already <laughs> they act like the Hunger Games invented post apocalyptic yes. dystopian literature. Absolutely. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain about it right now. <laughs> this is another discussion. But nineteen eighty four yeah. had that on lock, mm. just so you know. Big moment of shame. Haven't read that. It's okay. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> like I need to read some more Will. Just watch but the movie. Okay. It's fun. <laughs> I'll have to do that too. But other than that, I don't know. Did you have any other questions? Ah, I did. I don't know what they were. If mm. only I had brought that stupid piece of paper. Yes. If you had to live in any book world, which one would you choose? Oh my god. Yeah. Everyone wants to say Harry Potter, but I don't. That doesn't seem to be your kind of thing. No. So. No, I've never read any of them. Oh. I'm rereading them, actually, right now. Um. But. I don't know that I'd want to live there either. And I wouldn't, like, I don't know that I'd want to pick Lord of the Rings because it's a sad world. And I'm going to say that I would relive or live in the world of the Babysitter's Club. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I it's mean, happy, you know, just fun loving six or seven or eight girls who are just, they've got a business model, <laughs> they're young capitalists, and they're feminists. They're tackling globalization as we know it. I don't know. I haven't thought enough to have an answer. Young, capitalist, feminist. Is that such a thing? Can you be capitalist and feminist? I don't... Bell Hooks would say that no, you can't. Book world of yours? Where's Waldo? No. Uh, hmm. Goosebumps? No. <laughs> Boxcar Children. Oh, obvious. You won't have read it. Shadowhunters all the way. I want to be a that? shadow hunter so bad. Describe it. Um, so there are demons in the world, and then if you're a demon hunter, you're you have angel blood, and you kill them with these like shiny angel swords, and it's very cool. And you wear all leather, and you're really badass, and you know. Okay. The main bad guys are evil shadow hunters. It started out as Harry Potter fan fiction, Ooh. so. She wrote something called like the Draco Chronicles, which are all about Malfoy, and so the main character is sort of based on Malfoy, but not really. I never read the fanfiction because it's gone, like it, you can't find it on the internet anymore, but it's 
Because the author is litigious? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It's J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling will sue a bitch. Do one. Um, I don't know, but I think it's more like she got a book deal and so she took all of her fan fiction uh-huh. off the internet. You gotta um, do that. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if I searched hard enough, I could find it, but I've never really tried. Um, I wrote fan fiction one. For what? From the interview of the vampire. <laughs> I need to read that. I was just talking with someone about it because I saw the movie and it was like so ridiculous. Oh, it is. Wait, I think I was talking to you. Um, <laughs> and and Rice. Rice. Yeah. Super litigious. Mm. She will sue anybody. Did she over... try to sue you? No. Okay, she, good. She sued the um, the host of the fan fiction that I posted my really? stuff up. Yes. What? And so Jeez. they kind of had to lay low. I don't know. Lay low. Oh my gosh. And um, that stuff is no longer available. <laughs> wow. I still have my stuff. Don't work. Well, okay. It's safe. Still have it. Yes. Um, but yeah, you got to be really careful when you encroach on the world of the vampire. So. <laughs> I've written some vampire fanfiction of my own, actually. You have to. Yeah. Why not? It, it lends itself to that. Right. It was Buffy the Vampire Slayer slash yeah. Torchwood, because the same actor plays a character in each thing. And I was like, what if they met? What would happen? Yes. So I, had, I had to write that story. I just don't buy Tom Cruise as a vampire. I just don't. Well, she didn't either. Really? Okay, her. good. She fought against Tom Cruise being mm. the role of Lestat. Lestat. Yeah. She yeah. She okay. was very much against it. Huh. I'm very much against I it. I did not approve. But now that it's a thing, yeah. you know, I kinda have to deal with it. And yeah. I think she does too. Brad Pitt was kind of a s- awkward thing too. Yeah. I'm gonna say that Claudia played by Kirsten was it Dunst? Yeah. Kristen Dunst stole the show. She was the best vampire <laughs> ever. And for a nine-year-old, ten-year-old actress, she she really did it. Mm. I'll um, have to watch this film again. Antonio Banderas, not so much. He's in it. Oh <laughs> no! I have to see it again then. I love Just, Zorro so much. Were you drunk during it? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I saw it. Like, when I was still working at Dollar Tree, so it's been oh, a while. Okay. It's been a while. Yeah, and I've never read the book. Okay! Everything <laughs> is like the fucking <laughs> Hunger Games. <laughs> oh, phone call. Hold on. We'll edit this out. Mm-hmm. It was $80, and it, like, it always auto-focuses, and it's just a piece of crap. Oh. It's really not. I'm sorry, but it's... It could be better. It really could be. Be better. Yeah, be better. better. <laughs> Have you any issues <sighs> to run through? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Who you? Edit this out. Yeah, this will be bloopers at the end. Demon on the outside, angel no, blood. No, no, you the kill outside. the demons with the angel blood ah. that you have. Somehow they get the angel blood, and then if you drink the cup, then you become a shadow hunter and you kill the things. It's quite fun. <laughs> Don't apologize to anybody. Okay. There are no guilty pleasures. But Secrets are coming yeah. to life. <laughs> so much editing. Anne Rice will sue a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Title of this video. <laughs>